Hi, today I want to show you how you can add a service worker to your WIST and Webflow project without having to go through a lot of code and setting all of that up in Cloudflare. So yeah, let's get started right now. Just real quick, a service worker is like a program running in the background of your site that is loaded from uh, the root of the site to add more functionality such as data caching, push notifications, and all of those exciting stuff in there. So we cannot do that on Webflow because Webflow doesn't allow us to add custom files on top of our site. So we need to take our Webflow site and we need to embed it in a different service that can host this website um, including those files. Now there is Cloudflare, which is a more technical solution, but there is another provider I really like, and that's Subfold. And I'm not getting paid by Subfold to talk about them. I'm just pure, purely excited about uh, that I don't have to use Cloudflare. So I could just simply add my um, manifest as well. But in this case, I can just simply add my service worker file, which there is an example in the video description down below. And I just do slash service worker dot JS. It takes JavaScript and I can just simply save that. And then I can just copy this path, preview the test site. And as you can see, uh, the JavaScript file now, oh, did I do I type something wrong. Let's see. Oh, there you go. I may need to save this again. Okay, here we go. And as you can see, the JavaScript file, yes, now it works. It took some time to propagate. So now as you can see, the JavaScript file for the service worker is now hosted on our site, which you cannot do on Webflow. So now since we got the service worker on our extension, it will be the same on the published side on this extension. We can just simply go to the Webflow site code in here and add our service worker script. So this is just a very simple generic service worker script. And um, we're going to register the service worker. First of all, we're going to define the scope, which is just the main domain. And then we're going to take the path, which we just defined in subfold that contains the service worker JS. And we're just only going to use the extension because it is hosted on the site it is already on. So we can only just simply use the extension. And then we're going to register the service worker and we're going to console log everything if it succeeded or if it not. And now let's publish this. And let's see if our site actually now works offline. So let's first go on it online, pwabridge.com. And if I go to go to inspect elements, we will see in the console that the service worker has successfully been registered. And this happens every time I reload the page. And now if I turn off Wi-Fi like this and I'm reloading the page, or if I'm opening the page in a new tab, oh, actually, it may need it a bit more time to propagate and to fully activate the service worker. So let's give it a bit more chance here to do that. So let's do pwabridge.com. Okay, perfect. Here we go. So we got that. And let's just make sure, let's wait a bit to make sure that everything is fully propagated with the service worker. And now let's try it again and deactivate the internet and open a new tab, pwabridge.com. And as you can see, we have no internet and we can still access our site using the data that has been cached using the service worker. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you have any questions about service workers, please feel free to put them down in the comments and I will be more than happy to answer and to respond to them. And the next video, I can say that to you, is what comes after Service Worker, which is adding push notifications. So be on the lookout for that. And thank you so much for all your time. Thank you so much for watching. And see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.